Hey guys, it's Ministry of Lego WROEV3 here. I will talk about data operation in this video, which is the most useful part in EV3 program. First of all, variable. I will give you a demonstration in here. You will need to add a new variable here. I will call it power. And those is what you can use in variable, text, numeric, logic, numeric array, and logic array. I will use numeric for example here. If I want this motor to move 60 degrees in 60 power, then I will read a variable in motor's degree and power. One more thing, you will need to write variable before you read it. Next one is constant. It is a little bit different to variable. It has text, numeric, logic, numeric array, and logic array, same as the variable. The different part between variable and constant is that it doesn't have read or write. It do those things in one block. Here's an example. If I will use 35 for many times, then I will drag this to where I need. Array operations can save a series of numbers like this. I had saved one. 5, 4, 3, and 2, a 4 number array. For this option is which number of this array. If I write 1 in it, it means that the number I'm going to get is the first number of this array, which is 5. Then you can rewrite it. If I write 1 here, the first number of this array will change into 1. And this is the other kind of write. This kind of write will need variable for assistant. I will call it mystery. Then pull it over here because I'm using this array, same as the first one, which number in array and rewrite it to the number you want. After these two blocks, there is one more block you will need. You will put the array line to here for writing a new array number. Remember, your array number you read it out and write need to be the same, or your program will have error. Then you read, same as write, put it over here. This time you will not need the third block like write. Then you can pull the number line you want. Last two things in array, append and length. Append is the way that you can extend your array. The variable next to it is the number you want to add in the array. The number you add is a new one, not rewrite. For example, I already have four numbers in this array. Then after I append this new one, it will have five numbers in this array. Remember, the array you read it out and write must be the same one. As for length, it is the length of the array. For example, this array has 4 numbers in it, then the number you get here will be 4. Logic operation has 4 modes, A and B, A or B, everything except of OR, and nothing. Here's the example for AND. There's a car, and motor B, C are its power source. It will drive without stopping until touch sensor 1 is activated, and the touch sensor 2 are activated too. Math has operations like add, subtract, divide, multiple, absolute value, square root, exponent, and advanced. In advanced, you can create your own expression like this. I want A add B, then multiply 6. Events also have other math module, exponent, negate, floor, cell, round, absolute, log, and trigonometric function. Round have four modes, to our nearest, round up, round down, and truncate. For a truncate, this is the number you want to truncate, and this is how many decimal places you want. For example, 4.666 is the number I want to truncate, and I want to make it into only two decimal places, so I will write 2 here. Range is divided into inside the range and outside the range. This is the number you want to distinguish, that if it was in the range. Then these two options are the range you want. Here's the example. I want to know that if the color sensor saw any color from color 1 to 3. Text has three places for you to put text. This is the program I use for viewing high-tech sensor. And sometimes I might mix the number and doesn't know which one is the RGB and which one is the value. So I will use text block to show both RGB and the value of it.
Random have numeric random and logic random. Like this numeric random. I want the number from 1 to 10. Then I will write 1 and 10 in those two options. For a logic random, you can decide how many percentage will true appears. If I write it 60 here, then it represents that there is 60% that the true will appear. And that's the video. If you like this video, subscribe us because we will make more videos like this. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook for getting more LEGO and WL information. If you have any question, leave a comment below or go to our Facebook pages to message us.